Welcome to this video on integrations for black body tapestry online web forms. I appreciate your interest in this topic and thank you for watching. I'm Jesse, an e-tapestry consultant at Sidekick Solutions. At Sidekick Solutions, we help new and existing users make the most out of e-tapestry. We help do the heavy lifts in e-tapestry so you can spend more time doing what matters most to you. In this video today, we are going to cover template and embeddable DIY forms, custom web forms with an import, and automated form integrations. So let's go ahead and dive on in. So online forms integrated with your Blackbody Tapestry database can be designed to collect donations, email newsletter subscriptions, contact us for inquiries, event registrations, volunteer applications, surveys. As you can see, the list goes on and on. Really, they can collect any type of information you want to gather from your website visitors. The flexibility and efficiency of integrated eTapestry web forms make them powerful fundraising tools by streamlining data collection and saving your organization time. Now, there's a lot of different ways to integrate online web forms with your eTapestry database, and we're going to talk through the different ways you can integrate online web forms today. So the first kind we're going to talk about are the template DIY forms available in eTapestry. So actually the first two options that we're gonna talk about today, which are the template DIY forms as well as the embeddable DIY forms, both use what's called the DIY form editor in eTapestry. So if we go to management DIY forms, it's going to take us to the DIY form editor page. So these template and embeddable forms are really set up the same way in eTapestry. So we click create a new page, we can select what type of giving page we want to use. Now, most of the time, it's typically an online giving page, but there are other types of template forms that can be created. Um, again, whether you're doing template or embeddable. And once you select the form type, you're gonna set up the details for that form. Oh, sorry, actually, you're gonna select the theme first. Um, so this is where if you're gonna choose that embeddable option, you can choose the embeddable form theme right here, which really just strips all of the formatting out of it. Um, so that and we'll talk about embeddable forms here and how those are different. But let's say we're doing a template DIY form. We're going to go ahead and select our theme and then online giving page. So you can see how easy it is to set up oops, an online giving page or whatever type of uh, donate now whatever type of page you're setting up in eTapestry, it's really easy to follow the steps to set up that form. I'm gonna uncheck a few of these options here just to streamline our demonstration today. And because this is an online giving form, I'm gonna go ahead and select my fund, my campaign, and my approach here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set up this form. And so when I click submit, it's going to take me to then the page where I can, oops, so I guess I put an exclamation mark in there by habit. Okay, so when I click submit, it's going to take me to the page where then I can edit the look and feel of the form. So with the template DIY forms, you do have some customization option of uh, options available. You can change the colors, you can change the fonts, things like that. You can make this say, you know, um, donate today. You can see how really easily you can change some of this information instead of maybe the bright yellow you want a softer yellow, you can update that. So there's a lot of customization that you can do to the form before you click go live. Now there is a big difference between the template DIY form. So we're gonna go ahead and save this and then go back to viewing my online forms here. And there's a difference between the template forms and the embeddable version. So if we go to the template version, so like this donate today one, this isn't a draft, but once it's published, um, there'll be a link here. And so if it's a template form, you use the link and it actually links you to an external website. So here's a client example right here where they use the template forms in eTapestry and you can see that it takes them to a URL that's hosted by eTapestry. So it takes you away from your own organizational's webpage. Now the embeddable version up here, which is where you click this embed code um, and it gives you some code that you would copy and paste into your own website gives you a version that kind of shows up on your own website's page. So here's an example of this right here where we're still on an organization's website and we're able to go ahead and embed that page on an existing page in our website so that we're able to have some of that same look and feel, especially in the header and the footer on that 
um, DIY form that we have set up in eTapestry. So some customizations available. Let's go ahead and talk about the advantages and disadvantages of those DIY forms in eTapestry. So for the template versions, so this is those versions that are linking to an external website. Advantages are they're part of your eTapestry subscription. They're easy to create and edit using that DIY form editor. And they do allow you to automate communications following the submission. So not only will your organization get a confirmation of that submission, but using communication templates you've set up in a tapestry, you can also send a confirmation to the donor or the registrant, depending on the type of online form that you've set up. You don't need any HTML experience and the forms are relatively easy to implement. Now for those template forms where you're linking that eTapestry URL to a donate button on your website, you know, there are some disadvantages. So number one being that there's only moderate customization available. So what this means is that it may not match the exact, exact look and feel of your organization's branding and your organization's website. Um, additionally, customization is limited to fields in the eTapestry database. So you can't make formulas, use if them statements or form logic. Now, one of the big disadvantages that we hear often from eTapestry users is that with the template DIY form option, the users are navigated away from your website. And once they submit the form, they're not redirected back to your site. Um, so they would have to navigate back to your website to get back to find out more about your organization or other ways they could get involved. Because it is a site external to your own internal website or your own organization's website, there's minimal form and page analytics available. And then there's also certain required fields. So the way that the template form works, there are certain or certain fields and certain categories that have to be included in that form. So whereas maybe you don't want certain information on that form to streamline the user experience, the eTapestry template forms are going to require you to include those fields. And then the last disadvantage um, sometimes we hear from organizations that they want more control over the data. They want to be able to see the data before it flows into eTapestry, but with the DIY forms in eTapestry, it automatically enters them in eTapestry following submission. So regardless of data quality, that data gets entered in your database. Now with those embeddable forms, so these are the ones where it is a piece of code that's included on your website and it kind of pastes that form into the own header and footer of your own web page. So users are staying on your own page. Um, there are some other advantages and disadvantages. So first off, they have the same advantages as template DIY forms in the sense that, you know, they're very easy to use. You don't need a lot of um, technical knowledge in order to design them. Um, you know, part of your eTapestry subscription already, so you're not paying extra for those forms. And they do have that native integration, meaning that the data flows directly into eTapestry. You don't have to have anything in between or any manual work um, in order to get that data in. Now, the other advantage is obviously that it, it's an embedded form on your website. So the look and feel is going to match a lot closer to your organization because the header and footer will match your website. Um, and it stays on your organization's own URL. So the user doesn't have to na navigate away from your site or get redirected somewhere else. They actually stay on your own website. And then often website analytics for your website can actually capture some of that basic page data. Now disadvantages of those template DIY forms um, with the embeddable function, meaning that you're embedding that on your organization's website, is that while it does get you closer to matching the look and feel of your organization's website, it might not be an exact match. Um, so it may be that the same font isn't available in that eTapestry form editor um, in order to get you know, close to what your organization has. So it might, be a, might not be a perfect match, but it gets you closer than that template um, form experience using that embeddable form. You know, Another disadvantage is that although the form is on your own web page, which is a big bonus, stays on your organization's URL, once the form is submitted, it doesn't actually redirect the donor or the registrant um, to anywhere else on your website. So they actually stay on that submission, submission page even after they click submit. So it doesn't allow you to direct them to a different page on your website. Once they click submit, it, they stay on that original page. It does require minor web design and HTML knowledge in order to take that embeddable code from eTapestry and insert it into your organization's website. 
And then we do see a lot of those same disadvantages that we saw with the template forms, which is, you know, customization is limited to fields in a tapestry, meaning no formulas, if then statements, conditional logic. There's certain fields that have to be required. And then that question of data quality with the data writing directly into e tapestry from each submission, there isn't any control over the quality of that data that was entered by the constituent. So you have to do kind of an after the fact data quality review to ensure that data was um, entered correctly and in accordance with your organization's data entry rules. Now, some organizations use special web form software like Clover Donations or Network for Good or Formstack. Um, or even custom web forms built with plugins and widgets and WordPress or Joomla um, or other website CMS platforms to meet their needs. So eTapestry makes it easy to import data from outside web form software. And imports are often seen as an inexpensive and straightforward to, uh, way to implement that type of an integration. Users only need moderate training to add bulk data into eTapestry using the import utility because imports are brought into eTapestry with a CSV data file, which most administrators are familiar with. So if you choose to go the route of using a custom web form platform and importing that data into eTapestry, it's important to have a data management policy. So a data management policy is going to outline when you will transfer the data, how will you transfer it? What does the data look like? Does it need to be scrubbed or prepped in any way before you import it? and then who your organization is responsible for those imports. So without having a clearly defined import process, it can make this um, the process of importing that data from an external form management platform a little more difficult. So we really encourage you, if you choose to go the route of custom web forms with an import, make sure you have a well-defined data management policy for how your organization is going to get that data from your online web form platform into eTapestry. Now, advantages of using a custom web form with an import is that the import utility is already a part of your subscription in eTapestry. It's really an intuitive and easy to use interface for imports. It's easy to learn. Um, most organizations are already familiar with the import utility, but if it's new to your organization, it's very easy to pick up. And using that import utility, you're able to integrate with any online web form platform that exports data to a CSV or an Excel file, uh, because the Excel file you can always convert to CSV. So most web form services already provide that type of an export, um, which really provides you with a lot of options if you decide to go the route of using a custom web form service with an import to eTapestry. And then the last advantage is that it really allows you to control the quality of the data before you import it to eTapestry. So as you're on a recurring basis, getting that export from your web form platform, you're able to review it, scrub it, clean it up at all, you know, correct capitalization issues, spelling issues, standardized, ma standardized mailing addresses, whatever you need to do, you're able to do that in your import file before you actually import it to eTapestry. So that once that data hits your eTapestry database, you know the health of that data is high and you're not going to be needing to do cleanup down the road. Now, the main disadvantage of a custom web form with an import is that it requires a manual import of data on a periodic basis. With imports, there's always a risk of potential data inaccuracy if it matches to an incorrect account in eTapestry or you know, potentially creates duplicates if it's not able to match an existing account in eTapestry successfully. So there's always kind of that risk there. Depending on the volume of data that you have, it could become time consuming and challenging to do those imports or even cumbersome and messy. Again, if you have large amounts of data that you're wanting to import to eTapestry and you're doing a data quality review ahead of time, if there are large amounts of data, it's going to take more time and be trickier to complete that data quality review that you want to do. So keeping that in mind of what is the volume of data we're seeing and does that make custom web forms with an import a viable solution for our organization? Now, most organiz or most eTapestry users struggle with the trade-offs between the DIY forms in eTapestry, so that's those template and embeddable forms, and then external forms that aren't connected to eTapestry, um, even when imports are still a viable option. So it kind of comes down to the question that, you know, while DIY forms offer pure integration with eTapestry, they don't always offer the best user experience or the best look and feel, while external forms, the look and function is great, 
but they don't offer peer integration with eTapestry. So there's always kind of that question of if there's a solution that has the best of both worlds, um, you know, what is the best solution that allows for a great look and feel so that your organization's branding is still present, matches your website, you know, perhaps even you're able to redirect users after they submit the form back to a different page on your website, having that control over what that user experiences while also balancing that with wanting to automate the entry of data into eTapestry so you're not spending large amounts of time on a weekly, monthly, or quarterly basis importing that data into eTapestry. And the answer for that is leveraging the eTapestry API. So the Blackbody Tapestry API connects your organization's eTapestry database and allows custom integrations to access, create, and modify data in eTapestry. So the API is free to use. Um, and while Blackbaud, you know, the eTapestry API integrations require custom programming knowledge and expertise, the API really does allow for near unlimited customization, meaning that you can use roughly any online web platform service and be able to integrate it with eTapestry if that web form platform also has an API. So it really allows for those two platforms to talk together. Most online web form platforms do have an API, which makes it really easy to integrate it um, with eTapestry. Now, when we're talking about automating integrations between eTapestry and a web form platform, accessing the API alone takes a lot of technical expertise, a lot of coding knowledge, and really often requires a developer to set up that custom integration. But at Sidekick Solutions, we developed a module that we call the eTapestry API Wrapper, or the Wrapper for short. So the Wrapper is an adapter for the eTapestry API, and we connected that adapter to a platform called Zapier. And the reason why we did that is that Zapier is a platform created to build integrations between a variety of different applications. So by connecting to Zapier and using the wrapper, we are able to connect eTapestry with third-party format applications like PayPal, Stripe, Wufu, Formstack, Google Forms, Shopify, Eventbrite, Gravity Forms, and the list goes on and on because Zapier is connected to over 1,500 other applications, both web form applications as well as other applications that your organization might use like email marketing tools or accounting software. So you can see how leveraging the power of the wrapper with the Zapier platform allows us to really expand the functionality of your eTapestry database by not only accessing data in eTapestry, but also writing data to eTapestry. So with the wrapper, eTapestry becomes one of the most integration ready solutions for small, mid-sized and growing nonprofits in the market. Now, we're happy to discuss our integration services with you if your organization would like to explore an automated solution, so feel free to reach out to us at any time. So we've talked about a few different ways you can integrate web forms with your eTapestry database. Web forms that integrate with eTapestry are one of the best ways to automate website interactions and capture data from website visitors. The eTapestry integration and web form option your organization will select really depends on your organization's needs how much time you have to devote to managing that integration, um, and which advantages and disadvantages align with the goals of your organization best. So align your organization's goals and priorities with the pros and cons of each option and find the one that's the best fit for you. So that concludes what we wanted to cover for this video today. To learn more about eTapestry, you can explore our YouTube channel or visit our website at sidekicksolutionsllc.com forward slash eTapestry. Also, if you like our approach to eTapestry and would like to work with us, send, to, send us an email at info at psychicsolutionsllc.com. Our door is always open and we would love to work with you. Thank you so much and we hope you have a great day.